champion. We are the champion. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We hope all of you guys can join us tonight and enjoy our wonderful, lovely virtual event, which we're starting every single month now, the last Wednesday of every month at six o'clock. And we are live, totally live. And we've got this lovely panel of wonderful ladies here joining me. Yes, I'm Dr. Foley. You can kind of see who I am behind my marvelous sunwear. And of course, this is all about sunwear and sun care because this is June and boy, have we gotten hit with the hot, hot weather, making sure all of us are protecting our beautiful, gorgeous eyes with our beautiful sunwear. You might as well have fun in the sun with some beautiful eyewear to boot. So all of us are showing off our lovely little shades. Of course, we're going to have to take them off so we can actually see each other. <laughs> But we just want to do a nice PSA reminder that, you know, your sunglasses are kind of like your SPF for your eyes and the back of the eye, the retina is just like your skin and it can get damaged just as equally as your wonderful skin is of your face, your neck, your ears, your nose, a lot of skin cancer around the eyes. So you want to have those beautiful sunglasses to protect you and we want to produce and reduce those cataract formation. It starts as early as your baby so make sure babies and kids are wearing sunglasses because before the age of 18, 80% of the sun damaged your eyes happens during that time. So please, please, please make sure when you're outside, you're wearing those beautiful shades and you can get those beautiful shades at Foley Vision Center. Right, guys? Yeah. And we've got some cool, cool stuff ahead, some wonderful things. We're going to learn from Tina, our wonderful rep that is beautiful and the hostess with the most of here tonight. She's going to talk about sun uh, care, skin care, basically, so that we all stay protected this summer and also protect our gorgeous skin so that we can put our best foot forward. And with that, I am going to share the screen with Ms. Tina here, and we're going to get some fun stuff up. Bear with me, guys, because I'm still, you know, learning the ropes here. But here we go. All right, Tina. Excellent. I'm going to go away. ahead. And Thank you so much, Dr. Foley, for that warm introduction. I'm going to, I, um, I may, I have to put these on, otherwise I can't see, ladies. Um, <laughs> um, thank you so much for that great introduction. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us. My name is Tina, and I actually work for the manufacturer that curates uh, Dr. Foley's private skincare line. Uh, we are located in New York, and uh, we have several facilities that are FDA regulated. And what that means for you is that we use and leverage pharmaceutical grade ingredients that make uh, her products both safe and extremely efficacious. Um, so today we're talking about SPF, which is one of our favorite topics to talk about, preventing both uh, problems with our future eye care as well as uh, preventing aging. So we're going to be talking about three different products today and I actually have them to demo as well. The first product we're going to talk about is an eye product called Cooling Glow. I actually have this in my purse all the time. It's actually Dr. Foley's uh, product here. And this, love it. Yeah, exactly. And this is actually um, a daytime eye product. It actually has... Um, broad spectrum SPF. And frankly, it is the highest SPF standard in the world. It's actually surpasses Japanese standards, which is the highest in the world. So we have both zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Um, we also have a peptide blend in here that helps uh, with promote collagen growth as well Edelweiss flower, which is a very potent antioxidant that can withstand very harsh environmental conditions, some kelp extract, some vegetable protein, some hyaluronic acid. We all know what hyaluronic acid is. Um, but most importantly, and possibly the best part about this product is two things. First of all, it has a cooling applicator. If you can see that, you guys, you can actually put this in your refrigerator as well. You may choose to apply it with the applicator. I tend not to, I don't know, I don't really know why, but I tend to just sort of pump it into my hand and it's also a concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. It comes off as this color right here, okay? So this is a universal pigment that will actually blend nicely with I would say about 90% of skin tones out there. 
And so you can just sort of see it really sort of illuminates and conceals blues and purples and browns. Um, as well, it's, I love it because it's a non-migrating formula. So that means that it's not only going to be sweat and water resistant up to 80 minutes, um, but it's also not going to move around or slide off your eyelid. I, um, I personally have sort of like oily eyelids. So I have to traditionally use a primer so that in my makeup sticks. I have found that this actually works as a gorgeous primer. So you can use this all around the um, orbital area and on your eyelid. And I say that because you should not use an eye product on your eyelid unless your doctor tells you to use it that way. And that is something I found not a lot of people have known. Um, so it does blend into a nice uh, formula here. And is there any, everybody I think uses this product, right? In the office? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. It feels so cold, even without putting it in the fridge, you know, first thing in the morning. And we get up really early because we start so early at 640 is my first patient. So my goodness, people, I need anything I can get. I feel like it's the home. I need it all. And so when I put that on in the morning, it's so yummy, especially right now for allergies. Right. I've really noticed the puffiness goes down considerably and it just feels like such a treat. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. It's, and I know a lot of people who don't really want to wear makeup. Maybe you might use a tinted SPF from Dr. Foley's line. And then this um, eye concealer, you're ready to go boating, hiking, and again, water resistant for up to 80 minutes. Wow. Yeah. That's, I didn't know that. See, I learned something new every day. Thank you, Tina. Time, That's great. Right? You betcha. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to, we can go on to the other product that I always carry in my purse as well. Um, yeah. This is going to be, I mean, this is a, this is a big hit. And the reason why this is a big hit, and I'm sure Jillian, our in-house esthetician would agree. I mean, we're supposed to be reapplying SPF every couple of hours. And I have to admit something I'm confessing ladies that like I wear a full face of makeup. So without this product, I don't reapply SPF. Um, so, because I'm not usually going to put moisturizer over my makeup. So this is actually a mineral, 100% mineral SPF in a brush. So you can shake it around. I mean, I can even demonstrate it right now. This is actually going to have a high level of protection as well over Japanese standards. It's going to blur those pores and imperfections. Um, there are a um, host of antioxidants that are gonna reduce inflammation in red. Those ingredients are specifically green tea polyphenols, resveratrol, chamomile, and caffeine. And then also the safflower seed oil in here, while it sounds a little odd, safflower seed oil, um, like scientifically, will actually pull dirt, like, uh, like a magnet, dirt and oil off the skin. So it's super portable. It's um, a very light universal pigment as well, and it helps with shine. So this is perfect, again, for your hiking, your boating. Um, I find that men aren't very good about using SPF, so I'll go around on my nephews and, you know, my husband and do this on their faces too, and, you know, they don't let, they don't want anybody to see that, of course, but they actually, they actually kind of like it. So, I mean, this is family friendly, and again, I, I have this literally in my purse, this product from Dr. Foley all of the time. Tina, can you use that? Because I will admit, I take it as I travel. I love having it because I don't want to have to bring my loose powder with me and yeah. I can keep it in my quart size container. Is that okay to use as a loose powder too, to set your foundation? Oh, absolutely. I should say that. Yeah. This is absolutely something you can use as a regular I mean, this is going to be, this is a high-end powder. So you, this really is um, a cosmetic, but I bear, I hate to say that because it's so much more than a cosmetic, but absolutely. You can throw this over um, a bare face or you can throw it over a liquid foundation or okay. even another powder. Absolutely. I yeah. found it really handy that way. So I was it's like, really oh, handy. this is great. <laughs> it's really handy. I, I really... Um, I literally have that purse or that product in my purse at all times and I use it every single day. Well, if you're like me, I'm klutzy and I have a thing of loose powder and it, I, when I'm traveling, 
it's the one thing that goes flying and then it's like, oh God, it's all on the floor. And I yeah. feel like an idiot. So I love that because I don't have to worry about it. So, oh good, yeah. now I feel like I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, like you said, and when, and when everybody gets theirs, you just have to shake it. As you can see, the pattern will fly around. So the dispense is very easy. <laughs> That's great. I just, I just made it snow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Oh, wonderful. I didn't know about the sapphire flower. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, um, yes, it, so it's, it's sort of, even though it's an oil, it's, uh, it's a different formulation of oil and oil attracts oil and science and dirt. So it's just an interesting way that we have, we have formulated that for you. Yeah. That's really neat. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is a no brainer guys. So this is an amazing product because we often forget about our lips when it comes to SPF and, um, you know, not only just avoiding aging, thinning, loss of volume in the lips, but we can get hyperpigmentation. We can actually get age spots on the lips. And unfortunately there's nothing currently on the market that actually treats that. Um, you don't see it a lot, but I have personally seen it and it's very challenging because again, it is very visible. Um, so this is actually a lip plumper. And in a moment, we're going to have Jillian sort of demonstrate it because I, she has one and I don't have one right now. Um, but this has a variety of ingredients and it works a little bit differently than your traditional plumpers. First and foremost, it's going to have some peptides again to help with collagen production and specifically work on those vertical lines in the lips. So when you apply this product, you're going to get an instant smoothing of those lines. You're, you're going to have the hyaluronic acid. So again, hyaluronic acid is an ingredient that attracts and holds onto water. Um, so you're going to have long-term benefits from that. But most importantly, unlike other lip plumpers that typically use cinnamon oil or peppermint oil, which for me personally is too spicy, we're actually using a B vitamin, we're using niacin to cause a blood flow to the lips. So not only do the lips naturally become fuller, but we get that beautiful color because we're pushing blood to the lips. So, um, and of course, last but not least, this product has SPF. So we are hitting all the basis with this product and this will have both short-term benefits and even long-term benefits. Our clinical studies on this product actually prove that uh, within six weeks of you know, daily use, um, the, the peptide will actually sort of uh, contour the vermilion border here, um, which also just naturally gives you more, more, more youthful pout, yeah. Jillian, I think you have that product with you, don't you? I do. It's yeah. one of my favorites. So this, this is something I always keep in my purse. Um, should I put it on? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> see how it goes. I, I love it. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, everyone wants their lips to be plump, right? <laughs> it's, it's instant. It takes like 30 seconds. It's also a great way to test if you would like to get lip injections. That, you know, that's sometimes people are a little bit nervous. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't want to have these huge lips. So this product that's is actually like, great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what okay, I we got to see this. Is that it, you know, it fills in, you know, the natural lines within the lips. You know what I'm talking about? Um, it just fills them in. It's such a big difference. Yeah. Um, and I like that it adds a color to the lips but I don't know if you can see. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> Plump it's me so up. Fast. I need some help here. I have no lips. My upper lips are gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks beautiful. Okay. I'm going to be trying that out now. I've got to get gone to the stick here. We've been be hiding behind our masks all this time. So, right. oh my gosh. Now, and today is the last day of the mask outside, not here in our clinic, but you know, we went whee to the masks and, and in Oregon. So uh, yeah, okay, sign me up. I need a gallon of that, apparently. <laughs> we can make that happen, Dr. Fold. <laughs> you have the way to make it happen. Oh, this, that's is, great. this is your baby, so we can give you as many as you want, so. <laughs> I know, well, and I love the fact that it, you know, is protective. I didn't know about the UVA and UVB 
uh, until you were talking to me earlier about this, I just was thinking of it as this the luscious lip slumping. So that's awesome. So that's, oh, yeah. bring it on. That right. beats putting on the darn old chapstick every hour when we're outside. And how long does that last, do you think? Um, you know, I would say this is going to last a few hours. I typically like to reapply um, just because I, I like the moisture, the hyaluronic acid. Uh, but it's going right. to last a couple hours. Like I said, it's a, it's a nice niacin push, blood push to that lip. What's really okay. nice is it's not like a glossy, sticky feeling. It's just a smooth. Mm. Yeah. It does okay. absorb it a little bit. Yeah, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. I think we might have a question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape out of here so that sure. you guys can see that. I'm going to stop that share of that picture. And we do have, thank you, Stevie. Um, oh, uh, sh we have a question about the powder. Uh, is this considered a translucent powder? It is not translucent, It's but it's a very sheer pigment. So it's okay. not gonna change the skin tone. It's not gonna make you look tanner. I kind of wish it did, um, but it's it's going to, what it is is actually has a flat pigment uh, zinc in there. It's a clear zinc and the pigment basically works so that it kind of reflects off the skin and almost shines your natural color forward. I don't think I'm explaining that very well, but it basically just reflects off your own skin tone. So it's not totally translucent. It's mildly pigmented. Mm -hmm. Is that answer well, the question? I think so. You know, because what I noticed when I was using it over my foundation that I wasn't seeing anything, you know, heavy at all. It was really light. That's what I like. I hate that chalky feeling, you know, yeah. and it was really easy to apply. I mean, like you said, you can just, <laughs> you could probably go Whoo! <laughs> right through it. And I mean, it there you, you go. You got it. it. <laughs> there's no such thing as it's not going to settle in. It's not. So it's, it just sits right on top of the face. And so there really is, um, it's not like a pancake makeup, right? Yeah, um, right. Really overuse it. That's why you, I'm so kind of loosey goosey with it. So yeah. Good deal. I love it. Were there any, you can feel free if you go to the bottom of your screen, there is that Q and A. And if you want to ask a question, Trust me, we aren't going to, you know, divulge who you are. You can be totally anonymous. But if you have some questions about some of the wonderful skincare that we've got, please, please ask. Because this is where you've got the experts right in front of you. Don't ask me these questions. <laughs> I'm still learning. But uh, Jillian and Amy and Stevie and obviously Miss Tina is who's been really helping us tremendously about all of this. Um, yeah, so I think the other person was just saying, yeah, the same thing that sounds really amazing. And yeah, it really is. It's pretty awesome. Um, is there anything? Oh, there's, yeah, I got that one too, Amy. Yeah, that was the same thing. I think we're all catching that there are some people asking questions. If you're slow typist like me, I'm still back into my thumbs, I think. You know, you've seen me in the exam room. You know how slow I am. So thankful for our wonderful text subscribe for me now oh my god it's awful having to do it um i'm trying to think of other things that we've had people ask before i think again it comes back to what's safe what's not safe right around the eyes and we talk about this constantly that we really it really does matter what you're putting on your skin on your face as well as around your eyes because those damage those lotions potions us women and men like to use on our face will damage those fragile little oil glands around our eyes and you know how much i want you guys doing your lid hygiene right everybody knows that everyone needs to be doing their lid hygiene so we want to take good care of those beautiful fragile little glands and um, Jillian, is there anything else you find with some of the patients that we're seeing lately, questions they have regarding the skincare that you run into? Um, well, I'm often asked how often to reapply sunscreen. Um, I always say every two hours um, or more with the powder sunscreen. I mean, I apply this all day. <laughs> yeah. And, and oh, okay. Oh, I have one more. Um, people yeah. ask me if they need to wear sunscreen during the winter or when it's overcast. Uh, yes, every single day. I mean, the sun causes 80% of 
skin aging, it's definitely one of the most important things. Um, Great. Any treatment we do, if we're not protecting our skin from the sun, it's, it's pointless. Okay. We have a couple other questions too that came in. Uh, one person asked, can you put lipstick over the plumper or vice versa? What would you I, suggest, Tina? I, yes, you may. And I recommend um, that you put your lipstick on first, then the plumper. Ah. Yeah, and that's that's how I do it. Yes, um, I will typically put on a. I'll do a liner and then a color and then the plumper. Ah, okay. Oh boy, you know me. Okay, that's a lot for Dr. Foley to do here, guys. Okay, liner. All right. Even I've heard this for many people. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm really I'm gonna try. So the liner, the lipstick, then the plumper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All that's right. The way to do it. Yes. Okay. All right. That sounds great. We have another question about, do you um, recommend the powder for, uh, with oily acne issues, oily skin? Actually, it's, it's better. Uh, it's going to actually treat um, oil. Again, it's going to, it's going to absorb that oil, the safflower and actually um, the antioxidants, as well as the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide, which are the, um, the actual sun protectant ingredients are actually going to treat the acne and calm it down. So especially if you have inflamed acne that it, that's, uh, you know, inflamed and red, that product will actually treat it. Like I'm going to go on a limb. And if you have acne, I would even be comfortable with you applying that product before you went to bed. I mean, I know that's a crazy thing, but that's how it's a ther These products, Dr. Foley, as you know, these are therapeutic products, again, pharmaceutical grade. So that's why I'm so confident with that statement. The ingredients, there are no preservatives or filler ingredients that are going to irritate the skin. That's, I mean, Dr. Foley has very high standards. That's why when she found us to curate her line, it, and we passed all the tests, um, especially for eye products. Um, I mean, you can trust that Dr. Foley has vetted every single ingredient that are in her products. So yes, the answer is absolutely. All three of these products will not, um, not only not create more aggressive acne, but it'll actually treat. That's awesome. And I do kind of remember you saying something about that it does kind of pull out the dirt and toxins and things like that too, if I recall. Yep, it's just about antioxidants. They calm and specifically zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. They pull heat and red out of the face. Mm, they're rocks, okay. they're basically rocks. So they're pulling heat and red out of our face. So they're actually completely helping with all inflammatory conditions. We had another person asking about um, with us <clears throat> more mature women uh, that have a few lines. Um, do we have to worry about the powder setting into those lines at all? Well, you feel here's like what I'm going to say. If you have, if you're noticing that the any powder, frankly, is settling into lines, you're just not using the right hydrators and moisturizers. Um, mm. And that sounds rude a little bit. So if, if you find that's the case, I would actually uh, go to the office, call Jillian, make an appointment. She can analyze your skin and she can recommend the appropriate hydrators and moisturizers so that that doesn't happen with any product. You know, I'm glad you said that because to be honest with you, I, I hadn't even really thought about it like that. And that makes sense. It's kind of like the ocular surface. Of course, I know I bring everything back to dry eye and ocular surface, but um, preparing that canvas for that beautiful view of the world and to wear contacts, you know, you have to have that gorgeous, healthy glow of tears, but that makes complete sense. And probably why now when I put that stuff on, because I'm doing better, Thank you to both of you ladies. Um, yeah, I'm not noticing that either. How interesting. Okay, well, I learned another trick again today. That's great. Um, and I guess that also goes back to dry skin too, right? So if your, uh, your skin tends to be dry, it goes back to that moisture again. And then, Absolutely. And, and again, not aggravating. I mean, Yes. I mean, if you have dry skin, we're going to want to treat that condition. You said it beautifully. We want to create a perfect canvas. So that no matter what you put on top of that, it's going to look and um, be the most effective and look the best that it can look. Makes sense. Awesome. Yeah. Well, gosh, this is great. Nice questions. Gosh, everybody, I'm learning a lot. Thank you. This is wonderful. <laughs> I know a lot about the eye, but boy, I'm still learning a lot about the skin. Oh, I see Stevie. Okay. Yeah, I have a quick question. 
it's just come to me. <laughs> what? Well, it was actually on the panel. Um, how about dry skin? How does this how does this product work with dry skin, Tina? Well, that's an excellent question. I'm going to go back to Jillian, who's going to treat that dry skin because dry skin is actually more challenging to treat than oily skin. Um, because dry skin oddly needs more exfoliation than oily skin, but it needs the appropriate exfoliation. And I won't bore the, the group today with what that means, but it's not always a scrub, right? It's maybe going to be a different kind, maybe some enzymes, um, but we need to exfoliate dry skin more often. It just needs to be the appropriate product so that because what happens with dry skin is that if you you could moisturize all day long, but if you have a thin layer of like crusty dry skin on your face, you're wasting your product because what's happening is that top layer of dry skin is just absorbing that moisturizer temporarily. We're not even getting to the real deal at that point. So with dry skin, um, it's actually important, more important in my opinion. And let's just, I hate to say this, but dry skin ages faster. Like we were just talking as a group before the webinar started, Dr. Yeah. Felicity she had oily skin as a young woman. I said, that's excellent because oily skin ages very slow. So even though we hate it when we're young, and by the way, oily skin, we can take care of that with our eyes closed, like not a problem. It's actually the drier skin that is a little bit more of a challenge for estheticians. So I hope that makes sense, Stevie. Did I answer the question? Block. I hope so. <laughs> it was a question okay. from a panelist. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. So the answer mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Um, yes, it was answered. She said. <laughs> Perfect. Good. 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 That's awesome. That's really awesome. I think. Um, oh, we have one person uh, who's asking about, and um, this is probably now where we well, might want to think about talking to Ms. Stevie now because one of our uh, folks is asking, are we going to be doing any specials on these products? And of course, of course, I think maybe we've answered a lot of people's questions. And of course, we're going to be continuing this wonderful, fun little Wednesday, last Wednesday of the month kind of girls chat and guys chat too, because there are a couple of lovely men on the on tonight too. We don't want to leave you guys hanging or out, but uh, we're going to build on this because next month we're going to do a whole thing and Jillian's going to be helping us out as well as Miss Tina here about facials and skincare and ways we can take good care of ourselves prejuvenate, juvenate, and rejuvenate, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, protect our valuable skin, especially because, you know, skin cancer is an issue. So we really do need to take good care of this. We, we underline this looking good is awesome, but looking good means you're going to be taking good care of yourself too. All right. So I'm going to let Stevie. Woo when the real party started. That's right. <laughs> Discount. <laughs> <time>. <laughs> All right. I can't lie. This is my favorite part of the night. <laughs> I just can't lie. <laughs> She's been here since 6 30. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. I'm that I'm that excited. <laughs> so I have some gifts to give away. Yes. Well, the office does, not just me personally, obviously. But um, the first gift would be the sunglasses. And they're the ones that you actually saw on the flyer. If you saw that on the flyer on the website or in the office, I happen to be holding them right here. They do not look good on me. So I will not be modeling them for you. No, but this is what they look like. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So I have my list of names in here of the lucky person that I get to pick that wins these sunglasses. So let me look, let me look, let me look. Put it down here. Okay. So I have to see what I'm doing. I'm blind. Okay. So Trisha Clark McDowell, you have some new sunglasses. Woo! Woo! Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So also, I just wanted to let everybody know that we are get, running a special for um, all sunglasses will be 20% off between now and the um, end of July. So oh. that's pretty good. That, that was very great. Thank you, Dr. Foley. Wow. <laughs> and also the packages of three that you do see that we've been talking about in the skin line all night. There is a, there they are in the lips, 20% off between now and the 15th of July for that package. 
Yay! And now we're going to give away the three um, product one at one at a time. The three products that we sell tonight. So the first one is the Cooling Glow, and that goes to Angela Fendley. Yay! Yay, Angela! Yay! All right. So the Sun Kissed Powder. That goes, to, you're so cute, I love it. Goes to Tisha Cool. Woo! Go Tisha, go Tisha. All right. So then the last and not least is the Luscious Lips. And that one happens to go to Armando. <laughs> I know you're giving, I know who you're giving that to, Armando. So, <laughs> so it's yours. You just give us a call, come by. Oh, Tisha wants to know what she won. Tisha won the sun kissed powder. Yay! <laughs> Yay, she says. Okay. So, oh, okay. Well, we got to go to a someone else. Okay. I'm <laughs> muted, Dr. Foley. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So, Apparently, Armando's not on, so we're going to have to give that away to somebody else. So we're going to give it away to Yvonne Stevens. Is Yvonne Stevens on? Dang. They're missing out. They are missing out. Okay. Terry Mizak. She waved. Okay. She waved. All right, Terry Mizak, you have the luscious lips. <laughs> we have one more little gift to give away, but I need um, a certain somebody to call me um, tomorrow. Her name is Dory Miller. We wanted to give you something special to say thank you for everything that you do and we love you. So call me tomorrow. <laughs> All right. You're muted, Dr. Foley. <laughs> we'll get this eventually. I don't know how many Zoom things we've done forever in this last year. Oh, my God. Anyway, thank you all for joining us tonight. I know you could have done something else. You could be sipping your wine right now and in your PJs. We don't care. We love having you here, and we really appreciate all of our patients. Tina, thank you so very, very much for taking all this time to help support us and the fam the Foley Vision family here. And Jillian and Amy and Stevie, you guys are rock stars. As everybody knows, they know way more than me on all of this stuff and are educating me constantly. And I so appreciate everybody. We've got an awesome crew. You have questions, concerns, please feel free to call and uh, you know who to talk to. It's probably not me on this stuff. And uh, um, love having all of you here tonight. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank and you. Stay tuned for next month, right? Next yeah. month, the last Wednesday of the month, we'll be doing some fun stuff. Okay. Yay. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye. everybody. Thank you. Bye. Wear your sunglasses. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs>